All right, today is February 21st, 2011, and I wanted to do a quick video on germination and just part of the process or one of many processes that can be used to germinate plants um, for general hydroponics, you know, throughout the year or especially this time of year for all the new starts. Now, I use the, the lighting system in the basement and a lot of the equipment for a dual purpose. One, uh, as you know, to grow lettuce and different types of spices, uh, basil, cilantro, throughout the, uh, the winter under the lights and the hydroponic system. And the second one is to produce starts for the springtime and summer garden. Now, those starts, uh, they're very important for me to start in the basement um, because, one, I can control the quality of exactly what I get, control the type of seed, um, control the exact variety of plant I want to do. And in most garden stores, starts can be anywhere from two to three dollars a piece for tomatoes, peppers, various vegetables. Well, I can do them down here for about five, ten cents a piece at the most. Plus, the lights get double use; it really doesn't cost all that much in electricity. Um, it is very, very efficient, economical. And those extra starts, I, I tend to give away to the neighbors. They get a kick out of them, and it's good. You know, they, they like to try different varieties as well. So I'm going to zoom in and talk about some of the the methods that I've kind of come to use for germinating for both uh, the hydroponic system and the starts in the spring. Of course, the scale for the starts in the spring is going to be much greater because I'm producing considerably more plants, um, but they can really be you know, used, uh, used for both. Uh, one thing to note also with germination, just like anything else in gardening, there's a hundred ways of doing it. No way is the best way. It's really what you find works the best, what you find is the most efficient, what you want to spend your money on, you know, what you're comfortable with. Um, that all goes into it. And here's just a couple methods that I've found over time that are working well for me uh, in my current endeavor. So a couple of the products that we have is these are rock wool cubes they're called these are actually cylinders and they're made to fit into this standard jiffy tray now this is kind of the the dome tray that you'd see for starting seedlings uh, the dome is on the floor it's just plastic uh, clear plastic cover but this is a 10 by 20 tray with an insert that holds pellets and various other germination type products so again this is the rock wool these are already soaked because I'm gonna get ready to put some lettuce that's germinated into these and they fit down in these trays to allow the water to be pulled up from the bottom these products here these are called rapid rooters or root riot they're really both the same these are a hydroponic type product they're made out of a compressed uh, oh it's like a tree bark material completely disease free um, sterile just like the other medium these are incredible but they're about 50 cents a piece they do an awesome job for hydroponics but when you're talking a hundred and some starts for the springtime I don't know if that's the most efficient but they do retain water very very well and they do have a material that actually allows the roots to really really do a great job now these are the standard peat pellets these are jiffy and these have been around forever it's compressed peat with a netting around it now I haven't poked them down into the into the tray holes but once these are wet they will expand to you know about the same size as these rock wools uh, and then they got a little spot in the top where you can poke a seed down in and go from there um, very cheap uh, got replacement packages are, are next to nothing uh, a little bit messy I, I guess if you're gonna put them into I, I would not put a peat pellet into a hydroponic system because I, I don't want that dirt clogging up pumps and everything else uh, I want it to remain pretty much clean but they're great for the garden just when they when they get growing take the uh, peel the uh, the netting off so the roots can really expand I, I do think that the roots will constrict the netting despite Jiffy's claim otherwise but those are really the three methods uh, of of the products you know that you you can start moisten drop the seed in and sit back and wait now the other method and one or another method and one that I use for the smaller scale stuff is this is uh, basically this little tray is from a uh, uh, a microwave dish I don't know green beans or some Italian dish possibly we just didn't throw it away it's a nice little plastic but this is a paper towel folded twice into quarters moistened and then I drop the seeds that I'm wanting to sprout in between. And as you can see, this is a this is a lettuce mix. There's a butter crunch in there. There's some Simpson. There's some red green deer's tongue. Uh, this is going to go into the next hydroponic system. Uh, I'm really excited about this one. But these sprouted within about three days. Now all I do is I keep the the paper towel moist. You don't want it wet. You don't want it soaking. But you do want it moist and cover it up. Doesn't need to be in the light. And and let her go. Now for lettuce. 
I noticed lettuce, spinach, those type of cold weather crops, they don't need any kind of heat. However, what I what I do for the other crops, for the other crops, what I do, the peppers and the tomatoes, is I use a simple heating pad. And we've had this around the house forever. Um, so I didn't have to go buy a new one, very cheap. Set it on low setting, cranks out about 75 degrees. Absolutely perfect for germination, but really well, all I do is I take this tray, set it on top of the heating pad, and away we go. Keep it out of the light, keep it in the dark, um, and it will germinate your plants very quick. Another technique that I know a lot of people use is they'll simply take their germination tray, set it on top of the refrigerator. The heat will provide just enough to to keep it or, or to uh, to stimulate the germination process. So really, those are those are about the four different methods and the four different items that I use to germinate. Uh, again, when it comes to the springtime starts, the majority of what I will use will be the peat pellets. Uh, they are so very cheap and really easy to use. Uh, next to that is the rock wool, and mainly the rock wool I'm using now for the hydroponic systems because the rock wool itself, with the roots, once it's germinated and once the start has gotten good size, I actually put that down inside the net pot and I don't need to worry about any, any dust or any garbage uh, messing up the filters. That holds true with the root riots too. These are great for uh, low number plants as I said earlier, but not good for the big scale. And then of course the paper towel, I'll be germinating quite a few things on this or with the paper towel because it's just so easy to control and it works so effective. And of course the heating pad, I've also heard that waterbed heaters do a great job or really somewhere where it's going to get oh, 72 to 75, 78 degrees to help germinate these plants. As soon as they're germinated, get them under the lights. And this whole light system here is specifically set up for the whole set of starts that's going to come rolling along here within the next few months. So we're at about the seven minute mark. Hope that uh, helps somebody out and that kind of captures my thoughts on my current germination process. All right, again, today's February 21st and that was uh, that was the germination piece. Thanks.